What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is a review for the InReal Air Extended Reality Glasses. So what these are, are glasses that you plug into your phone, your computer, your tablet, something like that, and allows you to see what's on the screen through these glasses. So here's a closer look at the InReal Airs. They do have a USB-C uh, cable that needs to be plugged into them, but I'll show you without it first. So this is what they look like when they're on. I think they look pretty cool. They're pretty lightweight. So if you're worried about these being like really heavy, cause they are a little bit bulky right here, they are definitely out of all of the extended reality glasses that I've tried thus far, which is only these and the TCLs. These are definitely lighter and a little bit more comfortable, but the TCLs were potentially gonna change a little bit because those are a production model. So those could change, but ultimately these are a little bit more comfortable than those. Also, these have buttons at the bottom here. They have an on off switch to turn the display that you see through these on or off. They also have buttons to make the display that you see through these uh, brighter or more dim, depending upon if you know how you want the, the brightness that you see through these. You can also extend or push these, um, these nose bridges so they can get a better fit on your face. I kind of left them the way they are and they fit Fantastic, really, really good. Um, so all of that is really nice. They also have the, on the left-hand side, uh, they have USB-C and it does come with a USB-C cable. Here's both ends of the USB-C cable. The one that's angled is the probably the one you're gonna wanna use just because it fits in better. And when they are on, there you go. You can see it doesn't get in the way. It's actually in a great place where that USB-C cable is, it's perfect. They also come with a case, and the case houses everything, and it's not that big, it's very compact. It zips right up, so you can throw it in your bag and protect the glasses. You can fit in the USB-C cable and everything else. This is a fantastic case, I really, really like it. Now to get these working on a phone, your phone does have to support DP, which is DisplayPort. A lot of Android phones, do accept it, some don't, so just be cognizant. They do have a compatibility list on their site that will tell you. It does work with iPhones, but you have to get multiple adapters in order to get it to work. On Android, you don't need any of those adapters. All you do is just plug it directly into your phone, and then from there, you download the Nebula in Real app and get everything going. Now, if you're using it on a computer, like a MacBook or something, you can plug it right in and you'll immediately see your display right through the glasses, very big, pretty crisp at that. You don't have to download any additional software. You do have to download the additional software on your Android phone, but that's not a bad thing because it gives you extra controls and ultimately it's actually kind of cool some of the things that you can do in there. So this is airspace on the Unreal Air. Um, you use your phone to use it as like a point and click and then you tap on your display in order to control it. And I can use my, uh, my eyes, uh, my head I should say, to look left and right and click on things. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's like its own little world. It's actually pretty cool. Some of the stuff you control, the brightness and the, the volume for what you hear. So one of the cool things that you can do if you open up YouTube, you can actually open up multiple windows on here so they have like a virtual experience of some sort. It's a little bit clunky, I will admit, and you can make these windows uh, bigger and smaller, but it's kind of cool some of the things that you can do in here uh, in order to do something like that. You can see, you can see multiple windows wherever I look and get things done like in a work environment. So even though that air space is somewhat cool, it does feel a little bit clunky. It does take some getting used to a little bit. It's not perfect, but again, it's something that would probably impress a lot of people if you showed it to them. Another thing you should know is that in a bright environment, even though these have you know sunglasses blocking uh, the sight, it still isn't dark enough. These work great in a really dark environment, in a really bright environment. Um, you can still see the display, it's just not as bright as I wish it would be. And this screen that pops up, if you hit the home button, it instantly changes to your phone. So you can actually just use your phone or whatever display you're on 
You don't have to live in that AR environment. I could just use my phone as my phone and see everything on my display. It follows me as I turn my head, so it's always front and center with me. I could look all the way up and it's still front and center, down, front and center, so wherever you look. So I really, actually, I'll be honest with you, I use it mostly this way, so that when I am watching a video of some sort, here's the video, I can see it on through my glasses and one of the cool things about that is that when I am watching it, um, if it's a bright environment, I can still kind of see what's around me. If it's dark, it obviously looks better and it's richer, the colors or everything. Don't get me wrong, I can still see it when there's light. It's just not as rich and, and great as it would be if it was a dark environment or a dark background. So let's talk about if you should actually buy these glasses. I actually think it's a really, really cool investment and it's a thing of the future to come. I love using this on an airplane. I use these flying from New York all the way to California and if you think about it, if you download content to your phone or watch something on your phone uh, because the airline has an app that you can watch movies through, these are great for that. I was literally used them the whole entire trip. I didn't really get any fatigue on my nose or you know anything like that. It worked pretty well and uh, ultimately, it looked great and I could relax more. I didn't have to hold my phone up or prop my phone in a certain situation. It was just great. I could lean back, I could wherever. It just I loved that in that situation. So I love these using them on travel. If you go on the bus, if you go on the train, if you're in a car and you're not driving uh, or an airplane, these are fantastic. I love using them in that kind of environment and I will continually bring these on all my trips that I go on. Um, even on, you know, if you're laying in bed, they still work because the cable goes in the back so you can lay on the side or every, I even, I even lay on my, um, if I'm laying, you know, on my back, it's still, it's angled in a certain way that the, the, the cable's not getting bent down. So I still use it in that regard. So if you, you know, want to use these in bed, they work fantastic for that as well. These do a lot of stuff from multitasking in a work environment to consuming video games, you know, on a Steam Deck or on a, on a phone or a, you know, a laptop or a game system. Uh, you can also hook these up just watching them regular videos or, you know, if you wanted to listen to music or just browse the web. These work in literally every environment. They're literally a display with built-in speakers and they're really, really cool. And at 379 bucks, it's very competitive price to have a really cool device. These will make a great Christmas gift for people. Some, a lot of people don't know about these and they're gonna be really, really blown away by this technology. And this technology will obviously get more and more popular as more companies put stuff out, but and real currently is probably at the forefront of all this and they make some of the coolest tech right now and some of the coolest software. Even though it can be a little bit clunky, it's still really, really interesting stuff. So I'll link it down below if you wanna pick it up. You can always buy it and if you don't like it, hey, give it a return back to Amazon. But check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.